my area of expertise would include biology and the biological impacts along with the environmental impacts of cleaning it up, impact and health effects to humans in the area, impacts to the food chain. So when this first popped up, um, you know, the, probably one of the first things that came to mind was we're in trouble. This is not an easy one to deal with. Oil slicks are always problematic. They're always difficult to deal with because a very small amount of oil can spread over. You wouldn't believe how many miles of surface area. And then the, probably the biggest concern other than the animal life and, and you know, we've destroyed an ecosystem, we've destroyed a lifestyle down there that won't be back for decades. It just won't. It's not going to come back. Um, my biggest concern was the, the BP's process of using the dispersants underwater. Now a dispersant is like using soap. It's, it's a material that it's designed to break up oil. It's just like the dish soap you would use in your sink. Using dispersant is good politically because oil floats to the surface where everybody can see it. If you disperse it, it sinks down where nobody can see it, out of sight, out of mind, and politically, PR-wise, that's the thing to do. If you can't see it, it's not there. But by using the dispersant way down at the bottom where the oil leak is occurring, what they're doing is they're making a lot of that oil mix with the water on its way up. Now I would prefer to see all the oil straight to the surface where I can see it, find it, burn it off, deal with it. But by dissolving it in the water, you're not only impacting the surface, which we can all see, you're just not going to believe the impact we're having on the ecosystem below. As nasty as it would be, let it all come up to the surface where I can see it, find it, track it, deal with it. Don't dissolve it in the water. Yes, I'm going to destroy everything at the surface. All the pelicans are going to die, all the birds are going to die, all the seals, anything that's down there that's a surface mammal, bird, crustacean is going to die. But the stuff underneath will still be there. The fish will still be okay. The, the clams and all that stuff will still be okay. But once you dissolve it all in the water, you now everything's wiped out. Um, so my big, biggest concern actually was not the fact that it was we had an oil leak. That's, we're going to deal with that for the next 20 years. Um, they're still dealing with it with the Exxon Valdez in Alaska. If you go along any shoreline that has been, quote, cleaned up in Alaska from the Exxon Valdez oil spill, and you dig down six inches, you'll see the oil run into the hole. It's still there. Now, that's very cold up there, so the oil's not evaporating. There's not as many microorganisms. That's, that's going to be there for, again, 100 years in, in Alaska. The Gulf has the advantage of being a warm water ecosystem, a lot of bacteria and fungus and things growing that will learn to consume the oil. So it will probably recover excuse me, quicker, but it's still going to be 20 years before anything's back to what we would call normal down there.